Wow, take two. Sorry about that. I hit end instead of pause. Yep, really new. Really, really new to this. So, I'm really sorry about all the moving around and stuff. I, um, I moved. I, I don't even remember where I left off, but, um, I have a camo bag. started and then there's this really pretty bag and now these are all ombre yarns um there's also this well you can't see it oh yeah you can the pink and then this underneath this purple it's a dark purple um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> seven bags that aren't done. Here's another one. Another ombre. And here's a blanket that, um, Fiber Spider was doing and... Um, I really, really like the stitch of this. <laughs> pardon the puppy. Well, she's not really a puppy, but pardon the dog. Um, we had company come over and hopefully they stay outside because I'm busy. Hold on now, I'm really going to put pause. Wow, I said put that button, I meant push. Anyway, gosh, I'm finding a lot of my hooks. It's amazing how that works. Now, my mom asked me if there was something that I could do so that she could stack all of her... Um, Saucepans, not saucepans, frying pans. Uh, you know, I'm disabled and I haven't been in the kitchen in so long that I don't know what the name of the darn pans are anymore. It's the round ones that are about this tall. Saucepans, I think. Anyway, so I told her, yeah, I could make her... Some doily like material in worsted weight fours. And that would be perfect. It's thick enough, it'll separate them, it won't scratch them. So I'm making her some granny squares. I made her some round ones like the base of my bags. Um, just making her a bunch of different ones because, you know, I get that ADD man. Whew! I get bored quick. Like this wash rag right here. No, it's not a wash rag. It's a, um, I did the tutorial with Hooked for Hope, and it's a hot pad. I can't even think. Lose my mind. Anyway, so I've got it. I think I have eight rows left or something, and I just am like, oh, I, don't, I just don't want to do it. It's all single crochet, and I hate single crochet. Because it takes forever. Anyway. Um, so. My dad. Whoops. His favorite color is purple. So I made him. Oh my god. The light in here is atrocious. Purple scrubbies. And then I made him a mini one. Because. There, that's better. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and then, I just was working something up, and I made, I put the scrubby on the inside, and doubled it, so it's kind of like a wash rag with a scrubby on it. 
I, I don't know. I just was like crocheting and it's where it ended up. So anyway, my dad's birthday is coming up. So that's what he's getting for his birthday. And his favorite color is purple. So, scrubbies. This is all my scrubby yarn. Oh, I shouldn't say that's all of it because that's a lie. But anyway, I have two baggies, the gallon size baggies, full of done ones. So we don't really need to go into that. And then I was saying the Kaboo um, yarn. Sorry, I'm trying to open up this bag. It's it's not being my friend. And I worked up the swash rag. I actually worked up three of them. And they all already have homes. Um, well, two of them do. One of them, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep one or not. Then when I was making these bags, <laughs> I because I have false teeth and ADD, the medication that I take, I take Adderall. It, um, I can't, I can't sit still. I, I, a part of me has to be moving. And so I apologize if I'm ever doing a video and my mouth starts, like, it looks like I'm chewing on my, um, my gums. Cause I'm not, I'm actually, I'm not sure if I'm sucking on my tongue or if I'm chewing on it, but it's making bubbly noises and stuff. So out of out of the bags came candy dishes. And that's not at all true to color because this is like a turquoise, but um, I made with the leftover Red Heart Ombre one. Uh, Yarn I made. I apologize. I can't reach this box. There, maybe this will be better. Set it on my lap. And then I actually made a mini bag, which is, I have a purple one too over here that has all my, oh, it has my remote in it too. Um, but it's got all my candy in it. So, those are all done, and today, with Creative Grandma, I made one of these, and I just love it. I'm sure it's going to be nice in the tub. And then, I made... A purse-sized bag for a child or a really big candy bowl. I guess for Halloween that would work if we ever get out of this situation we're in. But I don't know. And then I made this project bag or beach bag. Now I started to say earlier the beach bag you can put a change of clothes in, a towel, shoes, water, uh, if you have an animal like you're taking your dog, the poop bags, um, and it'll all fit and it makes an, I mean it's, um, I had, oh here's another candy dish. But I had a lot of people order them from me. Um, I've had one, two, five, and they were all different colors. Here's a smaller version of it. And then I have, this is my absolute favorite one. It's a bigger version of it. But I like the way I did the stitches. I did it. And I just, I don't have a pattern for it. I just do random stitches around it. And, um, but I think I'm going to, the, the nice thing 
about them is um, the they make nice, you know they'll make great project bags. Now the nice thing about making them is like this blue one that I showed you guys earlier. I I just keep the yarn in the bag. I mean that's it's all rolled up in a ball and. Um, my boyfriend thought that I would like it better all rolled up in a ball, but, um, when these balls are all used, I'm going to just do it out of the skein and deal with the yarn puke and, or yarn vomit or whatever. But, um, and before I did those, I had a request. I made my granddaughter... My grandson doesn't wear beanies. His dad does, but my granddaughter, I made her a pink one of these with a purple flower, and she absolutely loved it. And then, oh, I, I didn't finish this one off. And then I made this beanie. And then I made this beanie for my granddaughter.